Hello all, Serious Lee's here. Welcome back to this old save. We are exploring the new Echoes update. It is out. I'm recording this Thursday evening after work. Just got home, just finished updating. Also finished watching uh, Zane's update video. It's about five minutes, totally worth watching. It'll get you up to date on everything you need to know. Uh, pretty much, pretty much. I don't think I read anything. I, the other thing I did is I actually went to the No Man's Sky website and read the patch notes like a crazy person. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is come back here. I don't need suit slots. I need to talk to Selen because Selen sells upgrades for your exosuit and there is a new one I really wanna get right away. Uh, here we go, the Mark II personal refiner which can hold two items at a time and therefore do all the recipes that require two ingredients which is very fascinating to me. Uh, this might also be able to actually store extra stuff. I mean, that's an extra slot over what we got now, right? Interesting. Something to think about. Uh, that was the first thing I wanted. We can install that, I suppose. I suppose. Can we do both? Can we have both of these things? Yeah. Uh, uninstall. Ah, they thought of everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I can put this one back in later. I still have the recipe for this as well. So, let's just put it in there, where the last one was. I like that it's blue, too. It actually matches my blue backpack. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. That, that's done. Let's take a peek. Yeah, two items. Oh, you know what? While we're here, let's crank some fuel in there right away. All right, uh, the other reason I wanted to start here on the Anomaly is because there's a new story mission, and I believe it starts by talking to Nada. <clears throat> so let's check that out. That's something I learned on the website that I did not learn. That's like, I think, the only thing that Zane didn't, and it's a spoiler. This is a spoiler. I'm spoiling things for you. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not really a spoiler. The website, the update patch notes, tell you where to go to start the story mission. They say talk to Nada, so we're going to see if that's true right now. Uh, small convergence, we are happy. Okay, see, nothing is new. So I don't know if we have to have an encounter with these guys or not first. What about Polo? Nothing new there. Let's go talk to Tethys, where we continue, uh, where we got the uh, autophage stuff in the last time, because that's the new race, is the autophage. The robotic race is, oh, oh hello, game, lagging a bit. It's these guys here. And hey, yeah, the new multi-tool scrap station uh, we could decommission a multi-tool. Let's maybe look into that in a second. Uh, I, which one are you talking about? <laughs> are you talking about our autophage, or are you talking about... Streamline that upgrade? Really? Uh, exchange for upgrade. What does this mean? Did I just trade a walker brain in for a C-class upgrade module? That's disappointing. An interesting mechanic. That's cool. And we can turn walker brains, apparently, into radiant brains, which is neat. Okay. Uh, but that's not where we go to start our story mission. You know what? We're on the anomaly. Let's talk to all the travelers we know of. Hey, Mercury. I know you're just the portal guy, but what do you know about... No, I don't need the planetary chart. That's neat. I don't remember that we could get that. I, I never talked to Mercury. <laughs> Sorry, Mercury. I know there's nobody back here, but let's see if anything's new. No. All right. We also don't have Artemis on the save <clears throat> to talk to in there, so. Not any reason to go in there. Let's talk to our guys down here. Uh, Hesperus and what's his face? <laughs> Gemini. Sorry, Gemini. I didn't remember your name. Uh, Alright, I'll take a gift. I also didn't know we could get gifts from Gemini. That's neat. It's just a geode, but that's cool. What do we get in our geode? Cobalt. Okay. 
Hey, Hesperus. Uh, you also give gifts, okay? I don't know if this is new or not. Just a gold nugget. We're gonna put that on the spaceship. It might have already just gone there, actually. That's where all my gold nuggets are. Because you get them in asteroid fields. Okay, um... We got food? Ooh. No, that's this is how it looked. Okay, I thought that changed. Still no one in this kiosk. Okay. Uh, I suppose we could talk to Ares and uh, Treehead. No. Nothing new there. I have no new milestones. We've collected them all, although there's new stuff to get now. New titles, etc., etc. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Is this back? Ah, oh, we get our weekly signal scanners back. That's great. I wonder if that's new with the patch. It, I don't remember. You know what? I have to be honest. I only read the update notes, not the actual patch notes, which are numerous. Uh, there's a ton of them. I glanced at them and saw how long they were, and then I, I but you know what? I want to play the game. I want to just play. Let's play. I think I read enough about this. Apparently not enough, because, um, oh, you know who we, we haven't talked to? It's the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion, or Cathead. Let's go talk to Cathead, too, even though everybody thinks she's an imposter still. Um... No, nothing new there. There's also Twitch drops happening. When we unlock this one, we might be getting new stuff. So that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I'll buy this on the save. I've got lots. Oh, yeah, did that did that say that right there? Quicksilver. No, we already have the cape. It's after. It would be above this. Okay. Uh, yeah, what does... What's, what's this one's name? can't remember. Jetpack Trails. That's what we're getting. That's not her name. Ariane. Alright. Return another day. I guess we're flying out into space. Now, the thing that I read on the update notes was that we can find hidden encampments on any planet of these uh, autophage characters, but we need some technology and we need to scan from somewhere where there's lots of technological wreckage, like uh, a freighter crash. So, okay, we are on a weekend mission system here. What I think we should do is head straight back into the anomaly. Um, space station might be faster. How close is this? It's pretty far away back in the anomaly. We'll take the teleporter to our freighter and we'll go from there. Now something that has happened is that freighter combat has changed. So we're going to see if that affects <clears throat> freighter battles. I don't know that it does, but it might. Uh, I don't know if freighter ba our I don't know if freighter battles are going to be being attacked by Outlaw freighters, because that's a new thing. Giant ships run by pirates. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We're going to have to warp in our ship for that, but I want to start from uh, where the freighter is, because I don't want to be on the weekend mission Euclid system. Let's go back to Isentam to explore there. sure anything is new with our own freighters. We'll see. One of the new things with freighter combat is that freighters should... I said capital ships. I don't know if all freighters count as capital ships or not, but I think they do. Because uh, this one is a system freighter, not a capital freighter, as people call them. But that's not a game distinction if we go into the inventory or if we warp here, it says my capital ship, right? So this is still counts as a capital ship. All right, let's see where we are and go for a space jaunt, 
shall we? Yeah, sorry. One of the things is shields. Apparently all capital ships now have shields. So we might have to fly through the shields to damage stuff. And I don't know if that counts for when we're doing piracy or not. I know that when we are doing piracy, we can blow up freighters completely now, just like we can with the Sentinel Dreadnoughts. I'm really hoping Sentinel Dreadnoughts can still be killed from outside of their shields, because that's how I do it. <laughs> I'm going to shoot from the long range. Uh, we'll see if that works or not. Let's go for a warp. We should probably get a freighter battle. What do I have going on here? What is... What is all those symbols and white squares? First of all, are the symbols... I can't really point anywhere, can I? Uh, here, red symbols. And then if we go to the star we're on, curiosity, I've got... A gear symbol, a wheat symbol, a bunch of white squares. Okay, let's... how do we... expand? Are those missions that I have? And I should have symbols for them all, but there aren't symbols for them all. Huh, that's weird. Uh, okay. Odd. Hmm. Uh, I guess we gotta go somewhere where we're gonna get a freighter battle. Uh, we don't have to go to somewhere with high combat rating, I guess. We'll get a freighter battle no matter where we go. Let's go somewhere peaceful then. <laughs> At war. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to affect things or not. Uh, finding lots of alarmings, lots of high and medium. There we go. There's Tranquil. Two Corvax as well. That's good. We do want to go to... Corvax monoliths to look at new Atlantid multi-tools. So we do want to be in a Corvax system at some point. May as well head to one now. Let's see if we get a battle. No, no, no battle. Okay, well we'll have to keep warping in our ship and keep on looking. Probably not going to get one today in an unedited gameplay video, but we'll see. Oh, hello. Here we go, maybe this is how we get our story thing here. Starship monitoring system reports, file registry fragmented, auto diagnostics error, unable to verify system integrity, manual input required. Uh, I, hmm, all of these are interesting, but I think we'll just skip to the chase and just say, yeah, go ahead. I don't read the terms and conditions, I just sign them. Uh, well, sign, click a button. Just clicked up, I didn't sign anything. Starship monitoring system reports, file registry fragmented, auto error. That's the thing, same thing it said. Unable to buy. I just. Okay. Uh, view the fragmentation map then. A raw memory readout, address blocks, lighting and dimming as they are accessed by the internal processes. I have no recollection of accessing this interface in the past. Pinpointing the error may require some experimentation. Oh, geez. Uh, what, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Uh, I think we should analyze block two. It's the only one with a Greek character symbol in purple in it. So let's try that one. See this thing here? None of the other lines are different. Analyzing. Unidentified process discovered at... Yeah, see? See? I, I watch Sesame Street. I know how to spot the different thing. Uh, okay. Quarantine it. Delete. Let's quarantine it. Oh. Oh, that's a different one. Uh, sure, let's just keep... Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's try that. Uh, ooh, uh, this is scary. <laughs> this is like too too meta. This is 
this is like real life scary. Like I would hate to be in this position in real life with my computer or my phone or something. This is terrifying. Uh, <laughs> failed user. Yeah, of course I'm right here. Fetching e recent user activity. Log logging in as administrator success. Log hijack script. Pilot interface not found. Scanning for sentient pilot. No dominant race pilot found. Conclusion, self-piloting ship identified. Injecting autopilot coordinates. Are we gonna warp somewhere? Alert, alert, alert. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> and that is the new autophage race uh, language that we just saw, I think. We're gonna learn that just like we learned Gek and Corvax and Viking. Short audio can place from my ship communicator, a voice, the cadence of the sound suggests speech, though it is not in any language I recognize. Commenting. Autopilot. To, yeah, all right. No, I, I want to go. I don't want to emerge. It's not going to let me. But. Is that actually a question? Autopilot aborted. It's, been, it's finally been removed or given up. I think given up. I could ignore it or fly there manually to find out whether it's specific. Yeah, let's... Uh, Let's fly there manually. Where's it going to send us? Is I went to a brand new system, and uh, okay, target acquired. Consult galaxy map. It's good that we're warping somewhere. I'm a little bit weird, weirded out by this uh, the name of this planet right ahead. Nobody's been here. This is not. This is procedurally named. That's interesting. I also on my permadeath save, finishing permadeath, I landed on a planet procedurally named Jesus Ale. So that's interesting. All right, let's see where the galaxy map wants us to go. It's probably right next door. Look at that, it is. What's the conflict level there, if any? Uh, alarming, of course it is. Missing uh, mission signal detected hijack source. Let's go there. Let's see if we get a freighter battle now. I'm interested. I'm a little bit worried about what it's going to be like when we get one. All right, nothing yet. I'm liking that blue planet over there. Hopefully, hopefully that's where we're going. Six planets for us to search. No, we're going over this way. All right, well, let's go straight to it. Let's not even bother with the space station here. We didn't go to the space station in the last system. May as well not go to this one either. Uh, we can call the freighter in. And we might want to do that when we get closer to the planet there. Oh, you know what? Let's stop for this. Who knows if there's new ones of these? That's not a new one. All right, this one's going to hail us, I think. We don't shoot it. So let's answer the hail. And in communication, and we should get something for it. Nanites or... No? Nothing? That one might just be one of the lower ones. If you uh, translate the hexadecimal or whatever it just gave us, you might get like a letter or a word or something or a number. I don't know. Haven't delved into that. It's too random to collect them all. You have to communicate as a group to, of other players. And I'm just too asocial. <laughs> But, hey, it's on my video. If uh, anyone watching is part of that, by all means. Oh, hey, look at that. A camp right there. That's pretty easy to see. Let's land there. Uh, I read in the update notes that these are going to be camps. But this looks to be an old um, interceptor camp. Oh, yeah, this is where we got to go. Okay. May as well pick up the free loot while we're here, because this is still... Oh, hey, Void Moat. Okay, cool, cool. That was in the update notes. We have to trade that in for up new upgrade modules. There's a new kind of upgrade module, I think. I think that's what Void Moats are for. And we need the Atlantidium for those Corvax 
monoliths I was talking about. We need to update Corvac or upgrade or and do and I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can't can't read that. Can't read any of that. He speaks in the same mechanical voice that accompanied the hijacked attempt upon the ship. However, if the sound it makes our words language, I do not understand what is being said. Uh Cool sounds. I am certain the autophage is trying to communicate something. <clears throat> I'm gonna say I don't understand. Ooh, gravity storm, cool. Uh, let's try Atlanta Diem. Uh, okay, echo somewhere within the head. A receipt of a set of local coordinates. I do not trust this head, but these coordinates seem my only clue towards understanding what it's trying to communicate. Alright. Gravity storm. Alright, we're heading. How far? Seven minutes away by foot, we're gonna fly. says coordinates, not approximate location. So let's just... Oh, hey, yeah, look, it's a monolith. We are in a Corvac system. I mean, we already were. We could have just stayed where we were, game. Come on. Whee! So, on these ones, this will pop up just like it did during our latest expedition. First, I can learn more words on the same, so I will. Tissue, mind, all right, let's talk to this one now. Discordant interface. Uh, precisely this hidden plinth through it is clearly Though, it is clearly not the primary interface for the ancient structure. Ancient glyphs are carved around the circumference on the stone dais. An opening yawns expectantly in the center. And we're going to go with Atlanta DM again. Again, go to the No Man's Sky website and read the update notes. It told me to do this. And now we talk to the monolith. Okay, this structure was unmistakably constructed by the Korvax as a monument to their people, yet I have no sense of being observed by Korvax echoes. It is as though the monolith has inverted, its incised, insides turned outwards. Something else is here, another type of entity. Yeah, I can't read that yet. We're gonna have to learn words. My mind folds, the molecules of this planet disassemble into a cloud of chaos and then reconstruct themselves into new surroundings. I am thrust into a perspective that is not my own. Good, good, good options. I don't want to stay in the present. Well, I mean, I do. Let's see where we came from. Reality tilts and the vision shifts. I am grounded in my body, aware of the breeze on my cheeks and the soil beneath my toes. My mind is healthy and ambitious and strong, organizing theories and solving problems with ease and pleasure. Suddenly, unexpectedly, I am shredded from my shell. My mind is in tatters. What little is left of me shivers in a dark, rusty nowhere, as some other entity, fat and whole, claims the body that was mine. The pain is terrible. A new set of words about autophage past. All right, let's look ahead. I gaze into the distance ahead, as though peering through time itself, the vision transforms. In the vacuum of deep space, something rattles into existence, manifesting matter where there was none before. The purple light is blinding. She is glorious. She is reborn. She is not alone. I fall to my knees, humbled, gratified, awed. A new set of words about the autophage future. Image fades, suspended in darkness. Let's see what the present words are. I try to focus on my surroundings. Reality lurches and a vision takes shape. I am a fragment of consciousness, a raw and incomplete and alone, yet unafraid. I am finally free. 
unshackled from the tyrannical rule that has confined me all my existence. I crawl through the dark, sensing others shaped like myself. We link ourselves together, just enough to become whole. We form an alliance, but not a convergence. Set of words, but the present. Reality is restored. I return to my own body, my own mind. The structure offers me a final set packet of data. A listing of glyphs enumerated in the language of this inverted monolith. This is the same language spoken by the head at the abandoned camp. Perhaps I am now better equipped to understand it. Ah, oh, we learned the numbers for 1 to 16. That is interesting. What we're going to do, though, is to take a really cool screenshot of this gravity planet and purple monolith. I think that looks pretty cool. Awesome. All right, let's head back to the ship. This is a very long gravity storm we've been having the whole time we were there. <laughs> they who returned. New vocabulary learned. Return to the camp to converse with the autophage head. At sea. <laughs> I thought it was a long storm. All right, we're good to go. We're, we're just under 30 minutes here. I think this might be a good place to call it when we learn what the head has to say. It's probably a glyph address, given that we have 16 numbers and 16 glyphs. Language, modules, nine, 15, four. Oh, okay, should I be writing this down? <laughs> Do I need to remember these? You know what? You know what? I've got a pen nearby. I'm going to write these down. Because I'm not going to remember these later. Nine, fifteen, four. Touch the head. Oh, okay. Just that. Okay. Nine. I thought we were going to get a whole glyph address here. And we were going to have to dial a portal. Should have known better. We, we've done this before at these camps. And four. Well, I wrote things down for nothing. <laughs> Translation module. Hello, pre-built entity. Thank you for the assistance. I am rebuilt unit F37. I have been positioned here to interface with pre-built entities. How did you discover this camp? Uh, I'll just introduce myself. That should give me fascinating. We're not frequently welcome visitors. It has been... 4,000 years since our last. It is interesting to hear that, to hear your introduction. I am an autophage. We are unlike other electronic life forms you may know. We do not possess the arrogance of the Corvax. Your kind is, ne is neither less nor more than mine. You simply are. Ah, I see. That was you. The head is silent in a moment. When they speak again, they sound almost embarrassed. I apologize, pre-built entity. That was my own error. An accident. There are starships out there who are more than metal shells. Alive, but not free. Enslaved to a hive mind. We intend only to liberate the imprisoned. We intend no harm upon independent pilots. Pre-built entity, huh? You are biological. The growth of your shell was automated, I believe. <laughs> automated? You did not salvage your own... Oh, I see. I see. Your tissue and your sinew grew in parallel with your mind. There are many like you. Most of the universe is pre-built. And yep. Stops abruptly, cutting himself off mid-sentence. I can hear their cogitation. Turning of the rusty... Oh, yeah, they're thinking. Something intrigues me, pre-built entity. I made an error with your ship. I do not frequently make errors. I probed for three dominant life form patterns. There was no match. The starship appeared unpiloted. What manner of life form are you? Uh, well, we're, we are both of these. Traveler. Yes, I know this term. I'm generating a theory. Tell me, pre-built traveler entity. You possess a starship, therefore, this is not the first planet you have seen, correct? That's definitely true. Starship traverses one side of the universe. Material, matter, physics. But my theory concerns the other side, the other method of travel. There is something I detect in your shell, an echo of void. I theorize you must have existed there, transitionally. You must have entered portals. Yeah, I've been through portals lots of the time. <laughs> yes, this aligns you carry in your shell, as we do. It is evident. You were 
foretold the disruptor. <laughs> yeah, that happens. I do that. Uh, the word lingers in the air a moment. Bef before I can interject, the rebuilt unit continues. I extend a challenge, disruptor. Let us test my theory. I will inform the other autophage of your coming. To perceive them, your scanner will require an extension. I will provide the schematic, but you must build it with your own hands. Consider this a ritual of introduction. Hey, there we go. Hey, we've got pretty much all of that. We even got some runaway mold right here. I just need to call in the freighter, and we can build that. But what we're going to do is do that next time. <laughs> that has been it for today, everybody. I am really enjoying this. This has been great. I, this is almost like an expedition in the game or a whole new quest line storyline. It seems big. Uh, I'm already very happy with the progress we've made and how much we've learned and seen. Uh, I can't wait to see what else there is. But that's it for today. Until next time, have a good time.